Warning, the following video contains material that may be traumatizing or trigger PTSD to some viewers. Mom and dad and then he saw the parson out for right, like a hunger. I don't know the reason the army five months. Probably not even there. And uh, we got up there and they said, you're going to Vietnam in uh, six weeks. And that, that was the yeah. You know, I thought I'd serve as paradise every weekend. I was thought it was a bit of a, you know, until we got to Vietnam. Within a week, mate. Or shooting at us, kill or be killed stuff, and that was all. That was shocking. You'd have a piano wide strung across the bar, you'd be dead. There were booby traps, or bandy pits, or bamboo spots that come and hit you in your chest and that. We should come across banana, um, and they were all booby trap, uh, pineapples. Mm. You couldn't touch any of that. You had to get a, a, a grappling iron, pick it and pull it, and half the time they'd blow up. So you had to be on your guard no matter what. To drum. A couple of holes in it, mm -hmm. and that was your shower. No hot water. Most of it though was dehydrated food and rations. And then when we'd go out on patrol, we'd go out. You have to carry all your own rations. No shower, no change of clothes, and it was vile. The conditions were shocking. You have to carry five days ration at a time. Take five days out, maybe six, and then you get after the six days, the choppers would come in and drop your ration. Load up again and off you go. The weight that I was carrying, I had to carry five days of rations, a ration pack, all your ammo, all your gear. Oh, I was carrying, I'd say, 30 kilos, 25, 30 kilos on the back, and so was everyone with an M60 guns. And mm -hmm. we went in as dickheads and <laughs> come out after the fight as, anyway, main killers. The hardest thing, it never, ever goes away. Never. Every day something triggers you off. You know, that's, it's awful like that.